Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are finishing off the third installment of this trilogy that we've been doing for the entirety of the weekend. That is the Laura Geller uh, Weekender Kit, palette kit. Comes with three cute little palettes. Um, each one has four eyeshadow colors, a blush and a highlighter. We have done Flirty Friday, we've done Saturday Style, and today is Sunday Fun Day. Um, before we fully get into it, yes, I am wearing a sweater, even though it is the end of April. I do not care. We are in quarantine. I'm not going anywhere, and I like to be cozy, so here we are. But I have tried very hard to pick out outfits that kind of corresponded color-wise with what's going on with this palette. So today we have a very cute little neutrals brown palette. Figured the sweater matched it pretty nicely. And I'm actually really excited for this one. I don't normally do a lot of like full brown eye looks. I'll use like browns as kind of an accent color, but I don't do a lot of like full brown looks. But today we're going full brown. So we've got a nice dark shade. We've got a kind of tan colored, um, like maybe like a dark sand, if you will. Um, colored blending shade. We've got a nice, um, it's called Golden Girl. It's this nice kind of almost shimmery, but not too uh, abrasively shimmery blending shade. And then we've got this really pretty um, tantalizing taupe is what this one is called. And it is a very nice glitter pigment. So I think we can do something really cute with this. Um, and then of course we've got Apricot Delight and uh, Copper Pearl for our blush and our highlighter, which I am excited to use. Uh, so yeah, so we're, we're diving right into this little guy. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, you should do that because we're fun here and we're posting all the time. Um, because uh, what else are we gonna do? So here we are. So we are going to go in with the blush and the highlighter first. That's pretty much always how I start. I did decide yesterday for this particular shape in the, uh, in the palette, how thin and narrow the blush is. I'm actually going to use the brush that I used yesterday while my other brushes were being washed. They are dried and good to go now, but the, the blush brush I normally use is really big and fluffy and it doesn't quite fit in the pan as well. So I think this is gonna be a little bit better and easier to use. I think this might be my favorite blush shade of all of them, actually, just looking at it on the cheek. Um, it's kind of what I normally go with, uh, peachy toned, but not too, um, I don't wanna say out there, cause it's not, that's not the right word. It's just not too heavy, maybe. It is really, really pretty. I like this a lot. Blend it in a little bit. All right, now we're going in with the highlighter. <sighs> highlighter. This is pretty too. I really like it. I like I like everything I've used in this whole kit so far, but I think my favorite highlighter actually was yesterday's highlighter. It was a very, it was a very cool toned one, which it's weird because for somebody who loves warm eyeshadow colors as much as I do, I normally go with like reds and oranges. Um, that was a cool toned palette, but I love cool toned highlighters. I don't know why it's, it doesn't make sense to me. And I don't dislike warm toned ones. Like this is a really pretty one. And there is something nice about getting like a golden dusting of like shimmer, but I just typically gravitate towards. So I think, um, I think I'm gonna like the, uh, I think I, I choose if I had to choose all of them. I don't think I have to do that, but I'm going to, cause might as well, right? So I think uh, the blush from this one is my favorite and the, uh, the highlighter from the Saturday uh, style is my favorite so far. So now we're going to go in with the uh, eyeshadow colors. And I'm gonna start with Cedarwood, which is that dark brown that I showed you guys at the beginning. And I'm just gonna take like a tight little brush and do my outer corner like I pretty much always do. Actually a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a really dark brown and it's actually a really pretty, very almost neutral color, which I'm a fan of. The dog is bugging. Ooh, she's bugging. Maybe it's because she didn't spend a lot of time in here when we first moved back. But for some reason, every time she's in this room, she decides she's gonna sniff around like she's trying to discover like a dead body or a hidden treasure or something. And it's kind of unsettling because I'm not sure what she's smelling. She's just like going hard in the paint every time she comes in this room. Okay, so I did do a little bit on my under eye as well just to give it a nice little, uh, I guess like full circle effect in terms of what we're doing with this uh, this particular look. But I'm a fan of it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rich Umber, which is that medium brown shade to blend it in. Once again, I think the biggest, the biggest strength that these palettes have is they just all seem to work really well together in terms of formula and in terms of colors. They blend well. They're just, I, I'm a big fan of it. I, I know I've said it in the other two videos, so it is still available online. 
Um, it is currently the last I checked, which would have been uh, the Friday we filmed this, which would have been last Friday. So the 17th, I believe that is the date. Um, the, the 17th, it was on sale on Laura Geller's website for $20. They say the retail value is $70. I will tell you flat out, it's not worth $70. I would never pay that for this particular set. But I think when I picked it up, it was like $13. And I think um, at $20, it's still worth it, in my opinion. If you're looking for like cute little neutrals, you get a bunch of different shades, you get a bunch of different blush and highlight options. And they're so cute and tiny, you can like bring them wherever you want. So that's pretty nice as well. So I still think it's it's definitely a worthwhile palette, palette set, since it's all a bunch of mini palettes. But um, I definitely wouldn't pay the $70 that the retail value is for it. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, did my other eye as well to make them match. I have to say so far, this is my favorite palette. Um, I was not expecting it to be my full favorite palette, but I really like the different dimensions that you're able to create with the four eyeshadow pigments in this particular one. Um, I know we're not done yet, but just so far what I've done with the two browns, I really, really like. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how the rest of the look comes out. Um, I'm gonna go in with the tantalizing taupe now, which is that shimmer shade. Uh, sometimes I cut my crease, cut my crease. I go in and clean it up with uh, um, with concealer is more accurate. But sometimes I do that. Today I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's gonna be super necessary because I kind of want there to be like a little bit of variation between the shades of uh, brown and where the uh, the glitter pigment goes in. Yeah, I really like that too. I'm I'm a big fan of this palette. This is, if I were to choose one of them to bring with me on a trip, this would be the one I would grab. Um, and it's very neutral. It's really, it's not, like I said, I don't normally use browns this heavily and I don't normally go for eye looks that look quite like this. I normally like a little bit more pops of color and stuff, but I really think this is actually a really pretty little palette that you can do a lot with. So, I'm pretty excited about this one. I liked all of them, but this is definitely the one that I'm I'm happiest with how it's turning out so far. I am gonna go in with Golden Girl and just do a little bit under my brow bone. It is just slightly reflective, so it's gonna give it just a little bit of sheen. I'm gonna do a little bit under the eye as well. All right, so that's what we're looking at before all of the uh, the mascara and good stuff is put on. I am going to just go back in with my taupe brown blending brush just add a little bit more darkness to it to kind of make up for where we put a little bit of that shimmer on. And now I'm gonna do some mascara and we're gonna see how the finished product looks. Okay, so this is the final look. This is definitely my favorite palette of the three. Um, I think if I had to choose one that I would want to have uh, permanently, if I, have, I could only pick one of them, I would choose this one. I am really interested to see what we could do with all three of them combined. Nikki actually suggested that we go ahead and do a video like that. So we'll probably do a bonus feature video for tomorrow where I combine all three and I take my favorite colors from all of them. But like I said, this is really the um, my favorite eye look that I've been able to create with this palette set. Um, like I said, it's still available on Laura Geller's website. It was on sale last time I checked for $20. So if you're interested in going to pick it up, definitely check that out. I really like Laura Geller and these are nice little neutral palettes that you can kind of bring with you if you're traveling. Not that we're all doing a lot of that right now, but like if, <laughs> if you're traveling, when everything calms back down, then this might be something to have in your collection that might be a nice little asset. Um, or just to create nice little neutral looks um, without taking up too much space. So again, this is the Sunday Fun Day. This is the final palette in the Weekender Trilogy set that we have uh, we picked up at Christmas time and we have been doing uh, in this little mini series of the past couple days. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps our page out a ton. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, I know I said that at the beginning, but please consider doing so right now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see uh, when we post new content, which is happening all the time. And other than that, I really hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, as calm as possible in these, uh, these weird times right now. Uh, just remember to love each other and know that, you know, no matter what, we're all here supporting each other. So um, stay positive and stay healthy. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.